fun with Ed O. Podcast! Hello everyone, it's Podcast Ed O, back at it again with another episode. And for today's guest, we have the animator known as Ziplicky. And also on that note, it's a collab because she's also helping me animate or putting some stuff in as well for this episode. So here is the interview. Hello everyone. It's Podcast Edo back at it again with another episode of Talking Fun with Edo. But our next guest, Zip Flicky. Yay! Hello. Hi. I am Zip. Um, I'm an animator. So yeah, welcome, welcome. As we can see, <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm in V2 form and everything. So yeah, um, right. thanks for having me and everything. Of course, thanks, thanks for being here too. And on that note, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing very, very good. I am glad to hear. So, our, the first thing that we got is, where are you from? I am originally from California, and I'm I'm born here, I'm raised here, and I'm probably going to die here, <laughs> like, in the hindsight, so, probably going to die here, but, you know, California, California girl for yeah, unforgettable. Hey. <laughs> I'm glad to hear, because also, like, my mom is from Cali, and also my little sibling is also born from Cali, so, like, oh. half my family is Californian. Yeah. Um... From uh, my mom was grew up in the East Point, and uh, like not doxing, it's like my sibling was born in Fresno, and like oh. currently she's still she's uh staying there too. So it's like I know for like like last year she just moved in, but it's like you know that's her that's her home. You know, it's funny because she gave me a call to check on how she I was doing yesterday, so that was nice. Oh. Yeah, no, it's Northern California, and then I'm more Southern California. That's Southern, but so mm. So, I'm pretty much okay, now, yeah. yeah, so I'm pretty much in the LA area, but it's, California is always going to be home to me, no matter what. Right. It's been a little while since I've been there myself. Like, last year I went there for Thanksgiving, but, you know, in the near future and stuff, I might come back there again to visit family and stuff. So, right. you know. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, like, it does the snow down here, so just keep that it, in mind. No, and it's not even snowing, it's not even snowing over here either. I'm in uh, the south, I'm in Louisiana, it's not even oh, snowing over here either. That's so cool, I have family in Louisiana. Really? Yeah. Which part, by the way? Um, more, I think, Delhi? It's, it's, it's Delhi. Yeah. It's yeah, I'm in, uh, I'm in the... Yeah, that's that's pretty. I'll I'll remember to ask, but like um my my family and stuff. But like um I'm in uh the New Orleans area, like the New Orleans and Baton oh, so you're area. close to the Mississippi location. River and all that. Yeah, close. Like I'm like I'm an hour away from both of those areas. Mm. So uh, yeah. So our next question I got is, how did you start drawing and animating your stories? Um, let's see. I am very, I've been drawing for a long period, for a long period of time, so about 10 years now. Uh, mm. Starting animating, uh, I used to watch Suzy a lot when I was in high school. Um, Suzy? Yeah. Old, old okay. school Suzy, so Storytime Animator Suzy. I watched him before he became a Storytime Animator, um, when he okay. had his gaming channel, and I watched him like basically grow an audience to now and I wanted to be just like him because I didn't see anybody like of my uh skin color like doing it on YouTube yeah. as we are right. as we are yeah. doing it right now um yeah yeah there's not there's not a lot of people like who are doing it, it in our race but like um I... it's time to make a change for it so I'm, yeah, I'm very, I mean, it's 2023, I, we, we, guys. Come on. I mean, we got to, like, I I really do appreciate that Suzy made a gateway for us. Um, right. Like, it made a gateway for, like, Yo-Yo and Devontae, the one and all that. Um, they're my closest friends, 
um, at this mm. point, and right now they're waiting for me to cross that million million milestone so I could be either a the first black girl to like literally be the first animator on this platform. Um, but oh, at the same time, uh, Susie was my first inspiration and made me want to like do more of the story time stuff. And then I found Jaden and the All Ones out as well. Yeah. And when I saw them, I was just like, okay, this is during the time when I was actually sick and I had to go to the dentist and all that stuff. And I watched right. them a lot and I was just like, I can actually tell my stories in a way, but like, I also have to be careful, you know? Yeah. Um, they tell really happy stories and like a person who is like, you know, from the hood, from the ghetto and all that stuff, right? We we don't have the, we don't have a happy life. <laughs> I hate to be the person, but we don't have the happiest life. We didn't we didn't really have much of a childhood growing up. A lot of it we had to fight on the streets. Some of us didn't have a lot right. of food. Some of us had some toxic parents. Some of us didn't have a dad in their life. Um yeah. and some of us just didn't have that. But there needs to be someone that tells that story. And like for me, I feel yeah. like I'm that person. On top of that, with just from a guy's perspective, you guys have Yo Yo and Devante and Young Don and Saskat, but there is none yeah. for the females. So I have right, to be right. that person for the females. So that's You're why about I'm about to more, kick the door in. I'm about, animation I'm about, style. I'm about to kick the door in, and like I'm super excited. Um, it's been a journey. So for me to start this, it's more of like I have to do this because there's no one else doing it. So I, I understand. Yeah. Speaking of which, it's interesting that you mentioned Jaden and Odd Ones Out. Well, I don't think, uh, but it's like the reason why I was saying this is because, like, we all three of us were in the same age range. Yeah. But speaking of which, um, Odd Ones, he recently made a video talking about like different animations. And so this next question ventures onto this is, uh, is there any different type of animation style you would like to try? And if you can't, uh, would there like for help? What would you want to try try it with? Not 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 a person, but it's like if you can't do this animation style, you would ask someone to help do it for you. Like, what type of new animation style would you like to try out? Um, it's so hard because like for me, I like I really am inspired by like heavy anime and all that stuff. So a lot of my animation mm. style when I animate, I do animate in like the studio industry for animation. For uh, like Japanese yeah. animation, right? So yeah, I do have my favorite studios. Uh, right now, Mappa is kind of under fire right now. Just wish it wasn't under fire yeah. right now. But if I did, um, I wouldn't put my animators under that much stress. But like Studio Mappa has really decent animation. Studio Trigger also has been on my top. So okay, animations like that. Um, I want to go more towards um, something that's just like I'm more into like fighting game animation so basically sprite stuff yeah. so that's like my next move in like the next 10 years is just to make my own fighting game eventually so just okay. have all my characters and all that stuff that's that's a that's a big goal for me right there oh like street fighter yes. and stuff like that right so stuff like that could you do it like oh sorry <laughs> Oh, no, you're fine. Would you do it like in that uh, eight bit style or like the, you know, what we got now? No, what we have now is fine. Um, the eight bit style is a little too hard unless I find um, people to do it. Like I was more inspired right. when it comes to fighting games. I was more inspired by Soul Calibur. Um, I was okay. also inspired by the King of Fighters. So I didn't get really much into Street Fighter. I got into the other version of it where it's just the King of Fighters. Yeah. And I was heavily inspired by that. Um, hmm. Just to just like to go into that part of anything. So after story time animations and, you know, just regular animations. Um, if I didn't have to go this route, I would just be like more into fighting games and just making my characters just, you know, ballad out. Right, right. I can see that, and you, and also like from the look of your animations, it seems like you have like lots of characters to choose from. I know I only see two, but I'm pretty sure you are making more as you know as the animation story is going. As the animation stories are going along right now, um, 
this is where we got into the conversation where it's just like um between youtube shorts and like long form videos uh yeah this is something that we talked about earlier in our meeting um what do we want to go for uh when i said for my shorts my shorts are going to be more like more skit heavy now they're not going to be story based yeah. heavy because I want to save the right, time right, for right. longer videos, and a lot, of, a lot of people are asking, like, "Hey, can we get a longer version of this story? Because it doesn't make it kind of makes this a lot of sense, but it we need a full context of the story." So, right, right I thought right. about it in a way where it's just like I experimented um, recently with my Christmas video that everybody mm, loved. Yeah. Apparently, um, we actually introduced uh, a new character, the landlord. The landlord, yeah. So she is actually one of my uh, one of my villain characters. Now she's mm. not like, is this like it, it's a an full actual thing. like it is a full thing. It's a secret, okay. It, it is a secret, but like we, I, I've released a bunch of characters already. Um, some right. are hidden gems, but they're gonna get their own role eventually. Um, yeah. But this is more of like this is twenty twenty four stuff that like I'm super excited yeah, for. Yeah. Um, right now, everything was just up in the air because we're just testing everything. But at the end yeah. of the day, seeing how the audience reacts to it, I was really surprised. I was like, wow, you guys really like this. Um, okay, <laughs> I will make more on top of, you know, just, you know, this is the normal story times and stuff. So I'm super excited. Mm. Man, like literally, like, I think it's not, it's like you literally like from the last part it's like answered like the good bit of the questions it's like the two ones i have before we get into the usual thing that i do with the guests is um is there any other type of collaborators that you would like to work on animation wise or even in real life and especially speaking of vtubers is there even any vtubers you would like to collaborate anytime soon um right now is everything is just me personally like i'm still basically in my first year of content creation doing it full-time um right you have to understand when it comes to content creation i'm gonna like blow everybody's mind right now um you have your first year where you're just a hobbyist and you're not making any money you're just doing this for fun but yeah. then you find out that you find your target audience and in the last three years i found mine um very mm. fast by the way um i'm little, one of them yeah it, it was a little too fast for me um i got a little overwhelmed and super burnt out on top of dealing with life but it yeah. actually made me prepare for my first year of when i actually was monetized and i was getting all these sponsors and taking on brand deals and yeah. a bunch of stuff um yeah. Even YouTube reached out to me saying that, like, yeah, we really like your stuff and, we, you know, we want you to be more up there. And I was just like, okay, mm. that's cool. But it is a little overwhelming um, with your first year. Your second year, yeah. you're just like, okay, you know what your audience wants. You know what your audience right. is towards. Um, now it's just maintaining it and keeping the content up yeah. for them. It's not... I'm going to tell you a little secret about YouTube. YouTube, basically, you have, it's about you and your audience. It's not about the algorithm messing up. It's not about how, like, I feel like a lot of people are going to ask, like, oh, YouTube is just, like, it's all about algorithm. Like, no, it's, it's about your audience. If your audience is not watching your content, then you're not going to get the views, okay? Right. You yeah. know? I it's even in the name. It's like it's, it's on you. It's dude. on you. It's on you. You know, <laughs> so don't blame yourself for not going viral or something. But right. in the terms of like B two B now, now that I'm going into that new field, um, I'm going <laughs> in it in a way where it's just like right now I'm in a content creator, but I'm also mm -hmm. in a way where it's just like, okay, I'm coming into Twitch with a, an audience. Now, yeah, I built that up from the ground up, and now I'm converting. Yeah, and yeah. a lot of people use it like, "Oh, I start on Twitch and then move to YouTube." I did the opposite right. way, which is more of the healthier way. Mm. Um, if anything, if anybody that I want to collaborate with, it would be Shy Lily. I like her a lot. She's my favorite YouTuber. Okay. 
Um, she's nice. very wholesome. Um, a lot of times I'm sitting there watching her because again, she gets you through my day. So yeah. Um, she's really that person that I looked up to as an inspiration when it comes to like you know making that type of content from a stream right. perspective. I'm just like she tells she talks a lot and she tells a lot of stories and. I actually use some of her stuff, not use as in like a way, but like I use some of her knowledge and applied it to like my own animations and stuff. So I'm pretty sure that's why I blew up very fast is because mm -hmm. I actually incorporated what a streamer does onto YouTube in an yeah, animation form. Yeah. And that's something you have to yeah, think definitely. about as a content creator. How can you make something um, like, say if your favorite streamer is, you know, like, Ludwig. Like, Ludwig is my favorite person. That's the person that I would love to collaborate with. Um, if, Madam if I, Wait, I'm sorry. Hmm? I'm sorry. I was asking, like, Ludwig is part of the, the Trash Talk podcast, right? No, that's Connor. Oh, okay. That's C.W.A. Ludwig. Ludwig, um, he is a streamer on YouTube. Um. Okay. I really like him. Uh, he's really cool. When I met him in, at VidCon, he's very sweet. Um, I would love to collaborate with him. Just, he's he's super busy. Um, and I feel yeah. like I'm like, yeah. I'm still baby. I'm still a small content creator on the platform. So my name hasn't been uh -huh. thrown around as much. Yeah. But I am on that forefront where like a lot of people are watching me and they do know of my content. So yeah, yeah. So and you know what? Oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Oh, okay. Okay. So one of the last questions before we get into the usual thing with a bit of a twist these times around Ooh. is, um, speaking of your audience or anybody that is like curious that wants to start drawing or at least is drawing right now, like what type of advice would you like to give to them? Um. When you start, I know there's a lot of places online, but like if you don't have the resources, go to the library, please. Yeah. <laughs> the library yeah. is your best friend if you don't have internet. For me, I didn't have internet growing up. I was not allowed to have internet. Um, even if I was living back at home, uh, my parents are very strict. They do not believe in the internet. So doing this is kind of oh. scary. But um, go to the library, get a how to draw book, and start drawing like that's okay. the best way i learned um and then i got the internet and then i was just full selling from there but if you're watching my stuff now um watch tutorials like how to animate how to animate on the ipad because right now i know a lot of people are getting an ipad or getting their first tablet and there's a lot of animation right. softwares now that we didn't have yeah. when like geez like five years ago yeah. So, yeah. um, the technology is there now, and anybody can be an animator. Like, you just yeah. have to know, like, yes, you can animate, but can you make content? You right, know, right. you gotta think about that. Like, anybody can be an animator, and you can go into, like, oh, I'm gonna be an animator, but I'm gonna work for, you know, um, let's say if I want to work for Jaden or, uh, The All Ones Out, I can do that. Yeah. But that's, if you want to do that now, if you want to go into right. content creation, you have to change up your mindset. And I'm right. a firm believer. You have to change up your mindset when it comes to content mm. creation and animation. So and animation I, is a tool. Content creation yeah. is your key. Yeah. It's interesting. Like Jaden again, it was like, it just popped in my head. It was like, um, one thing I didn't know. So, you know, a gamer named I, as Cupquake, right? Yep. The thing I just learned is that recently when she was reacting to her old animations, is that Jaden did it. I was like, wait, that was from Jaden? Yeah. It, 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 because it was like, I, it's like, especially of like then and after, it was like, and I see the comparisons, I'm like, oh, that is her. That, and I never, because like from that time, I didn't, um, when it came down to it, I believe either. By 2017 is when I got into her. Mm -hmm. And this was still at the moment where I didn't know. But I was like, when you look at that 
at that time, it's like, you can tell. You can tell. So... Yeah. So, that's how, like, Jaden started. She started as a animator for another YouTuber. And once Daisy? they... Once they did it, um, they realized that they can also do it for their own channel, and they blew up from that. Um, for me, I... Not necessarily I worked for a YouTuber. Um, I used to do thumbnails for Devontae the One. Um, okay. I was still, like, still new to the YouTube game because I started in 2018. Yeah. But I actually had right. multiple mm -hmm. channels beforehand. So mm. when my multiple channels didn't, like, really take off, and, like, at the time I was right. still working, you know, I was working a normal 16-hour shift. Crying <laughs> at Amazon. Yeah. on. But I was still making content. But um, I learned that um, working for other content creators will make inspire you to actually um, do your own stuff. And once you learn how yeah. to, they make videos, then you can actually incorporate it to your own content. Yeah. For me, I learned about awesome. thumbnails from Devante, and then the content creation stuff, I actually learned that from just studying the albums I was studying, Jaden. Like, I studied them like a hawk. Um, yeah. A little cheat sheet. I studied them like a right, hawk. I watched right. every single one of their videos on loop until, like, mm. I knew what exactly I wanted from my content. Mm. So, mm. now I applied it, <laughs> and this is where it gets really funny, and that's how I got more popular. Um, I applied it to shorts. Yeah. So I took what sense. I took what they knew and I applied it to shorts. And because shorts was like being more up there at the time, um, yeah. I got more popular because I was the only person doing it at first. Now we have a bunch of other animators who are doing short form story times, and I I really like it. I'm mm -hmm. I'm excited for the next generation of story timers. Yeah. So please, just so, like you don't have to make a long video. It doesn't have to be eight minutes. It could be sixty seconds of a short story. Maybe you were at school and like stuff happens. It could be like Vine or and uh, like TikTok, just like Vine. that that long. <laughs> I miss Vine yeah, so me, much. It's fun. Like earlier this year, um, which also will be shared with other stuff. It's earlier this year. I was talking about. I actually myself used to be on Vine and um. But the thing was, I was in it when it was closing, and yeah. my name was called uh, Edo2. And so I had some content there. And also, not only link wise, but you know, again, there's uh, this right here of like sharing uh, what it used to be, like my last days, which is ironically my first year became my last. So yeah, I used to be a Viner. Well, don't worry, I yeah. was a Viner too. Like. I was an animation binder, but I was I was a person who drew on the whiteboard and basically recorded audio to that. Mm. Um, everything falls into place, you know. Like, sure, you mm. were a binder, and then I I went from Vine to YouTube to TikTok because right. everybody was just like, "Oh, we're not gonna um, do TikTok." Okay, that's right. Cool. That's cool. Even I, though, the, even though yeah. like <laughs> I went there and I came back with an yeah, audience. Yeah. Um, it's funny, speaking of which, when I was a Viner, it was in California again. I was in uh, uh, Menlo Afterton, and mm. this was, like, graduation mm. day. Like, I was literally only there for, like, the senior last part of the year, but it was, like, that's when I did that. And fun fact, even before that, I was a YouTuber, like, again, full circle, but it was different because I was doing, you know, like I said previously, mixing my favorite stuff and then just uh, putting it there. And But because of that, even after... Uh, putting like fair use stuff nah it's still it's going down it's like you're not you're not keeping that i don't care that you put your copyright fair use thing it's going down so um five years into the game of the main and for this two years so oh, that's now good. thank you so now we're moving into the final rounds of like first and inspirational so a little while back we were talking about books so i was wondering what was the first book you read and what was the book that inspired you to read more books oh okay 
Or so I know you didn't say manga, but like I like cam. I mean, you know it, that counts. Dude. Oh, okay. that counts. It counts. <laughs> oh, so it the... counts. It counts. Okay, because I was gonna say, um, my very first book that I liked and loved to this day, and I still have the series, is Judy B. Jones. Judy B. Jones, wow. Yeah, I, it's going to show my age, but, like, I really do like Judy B. Jones. No, I read that, too. I read it, yeah, I was reading it in, yeah, in grade school and stuff, yeah. Yeah, and I still, I I still to both, this yeah. day, have them. Um, I love them. I still read them. But my first manga now was Tokyo Mew Mew, so... Tokyo Mew, Tokyo Mew, Mew. okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that was a... I still have them, and I'm kind of sad that the author passed away, uh, not this year, mm. but, like, close to last year, around this time, so okay. it was, yeah. it was, like, I lost a part of me a little bit, where it's just like, yeah. oh, man, I wish I could have met her, but, you know, mm. life happens, but, you know, yeah. it, it inspired I... me to, like, literally yeah. go into the anime part of it, and Magical Girls and Fighting, yeah, 100%, Tokyo Mew Mew. It's funny because that's the next part we're about to jump into right there is um, uh, what was like the first anime that you saw and what was the anime um, that inspired you to keep watching more anime? Oh, okay. So I have I have a lot. Um, if you're talking about the one anime that inspired me to animate, High School of the okay, Dead. Okay, yeah, that, yeah. Wait, well, I'm sorry. What was High, it? High School of the Dead is the first anime that I got inspired to animate. But you saw it first. It's the first one you saw. It's okay. It's the first one I saw like ever. So it's, oh, okay. yeah. It's Yu Yu Hakusho. I watched it with my brother. So I can't say it's my favorite anime now. Um, right. But it is the first anime that I've ever saw. Um, and I understood that like. At the time, I was into anime, and I'll always be into anime due to my brother. Right. So, yeah. um, that has a little attachment to my heart, but my favorite anime, from my perspective, um, yeah. I have two. Um, I can't put them on a list because they're, they hold sentimental value. There's just too many? They're, it's not yeah. too many. It's just one I, I like because it's my inspiration. And the other is just, I really like it. Um, I like Zatch yeah. Bell. Um, Zatch Bell, all right. Zatch Bell is like my favorite anime to watch on a, like if I need to rewatch something, I'll watch Zatch Bell. And then my favorite of all time is Albon Star Racer. All right. All right. Um, even for my note, I guess, I have a feeling I got to share mine. Is, um, yeah. You know, my first one I, I saw was, uh, I'm Taro. That was my favorite. And I at the time, um, I was at, I was uh five years old, and the, and it was uh it was O2, and like the thing about it was is that one of my favorite, which we're about to get into that too, of like music, uh, J-pop. It, they weren't the first, but it was my favorite, and I also did a video about that. Was uh Meanie Moni. So they were so that was what made it sentimental. Those are and those are subconscious my... ones. <laughs> I forgot uh, about me, them. I... Me <laughs> Oh well Meanie Moni, you knew that I knew Meanie Moni. I just oh my god, it's just so much like there's like a lot some animes I watch to it's mm. my comfort anime. Some animes right. got lost in like suppression, yeah. so I'm just like, oh yeah. my god, I remember that. Well, I did like uh, even to for more special specialty, like I did a video about them two years ago. So it's like, so here's like another thing to be like, hey, yeah, I, I got gotcha. you. But um, as far as the favorite anime, it was uh, Bobo Bo Bobo Bo Bo and Azuma Gadayo because that oh, was like man. the moment even from my uh fusion high when i was on their show yeah. and even vice versa um that was the thing i started to realize it's like hey wait a minute this stuff is look completely different than the way we animate here in the west yeah. and even like my favorite show speaking of cartoon network was uh it's a show from canada and it's it's a it's a show even based on like not based but it's like i have the same name but spelled differently uh ed and Nettie. so that was 
that was the, the thing. And it's like, I know, even these things, it's just like, hey, you know, next year is 25 years. It's like, yeah, Stop. I'm aware. I know, I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm fully aware that, it, oh right? my gosh, my age is about to show. But like, yeah, I know. Both of it is for both of us. It's like, um, I'm, I'm not even sure who it's like older or younger. It's just like, we're here. No, it's more of the year because I'm just like, you're saying 2002. I'm just like, oh man, I was in like year five. Yeah, I'm older than you by two years. Okay. Oh wait, 95. Okay. 94. So I'm. No! Yeah, I'm close. Oh, you Yeah, yeah. no. <laughs> like everybody's gonna know my age at this point because now I have a famous birthday. So I'm just like, well, everybody knows I'm 30. I'm gonna be 30. Um, that changed. I mean, uh, that changed for me. I'm just like, well, you know, I'm doing what I love at, yeah, at 30. Well, you know, it took a good, God, it took like forever, but I knew I wanted to do this since 2007. So right, when right. I saw YouTube, I oh, was wow. like, I'm done. It's for me. Well, I knew it's, it was for me, but I knew I had to work really, really hard. Right, right. But um, uh. Yeah, we're both 90s babies, so it's like, yeah. even though I feel like in your case, you would still, I think, still count for a 90s kid. For me, I still would just be 90s baby and 2000s kid. Yeah. Because I think you would still be a 90s kid, but me is just like, I'm still, like, getting out of the 90s. It's like, I'm still a baby. I'm still a baby. No, you're still young. and I feel so bad because I'm just like, oh. Everybody's just like, no, you're not, no, you're not your age. I'm just like, no, I'm not my age. You think I'm 24. Then, I'm not 24. Yeah. I'm not 24. But even like, <laughs> that's the thing, like, often people that they would ask me, it's like, how do you know this stuff? It's like, especially because I either wasn't even around or something similar, but it's like, mostly like my parents and just finding it on my own and be like, you know this? And even like the other stuff, it's like, you're not even from Japan. How do you even know this? <laughs> Oh. Even the fact I made 23 of these reports in Japan, and not only that, it was like I did Korea for a bit, Thai, a bit of a bit of Chinese as well, but it's like, yeah, and it was because I was growing up, not in the place, but like uh, through my teenage years, even though, um, you know, next year is like the first year of like, uh, of Puffy, aka Puffy Amiyumi, <gasps> and Shonen Knife. Those are the actually first that I know, and it's as first as outside of here. It was uh berries, you know, in the same realm. Berries, Kobo, berries, and uh, and these three elements. Yep, I did a video about these guys too. Yep, yep. all yep, yeah, yeah. They're they're in there. They're in there. I might honestly send like the playlist for Please. not even just to this video, but you too. So yeah, so for you to enjoy, yeah, Please. for I'm, my I'm main going channel. I'm a binge watch of like nostalgia right now. Um, it's needed. Um, I might, I might feel it. I might feel it. I might yeah, feel the. Yeah, it's um, needed right thing. now. Man, oh my god, this <laughs> we're re okay, okay. So we gotta. This is this is still gonna be good content. Um, so the next thing we got is um okay. So we have. What was the first movie that you saw, and what was? I, I think you could be in more likely of like how you draw like to make like a cinematic universe. Like, what was the first movie you saw, and what was the movie that inspired you to create? You know, kind of not even animation, but just like you know anything. Yeah. Okay, first movie I've ever saw. Um, goofy movie. Goofy loopy. The Goofy movie. Goofy, Goofy. Yeah. Okay, I got you. I got you. the first Goofy. The first Goofy movie. I yeah. watched it again. I watched it a lot of stuff with my brother. Um, seeing Roxanne on the screen and then like all the musical notes. Still remember them to this day. Um, still a good movie, but yeah. it was again it's a sentimental to my heart for my brother. Um, a movie that yeah. did. Um, I watched that does inspire me. Um, is actually Brandy and Cinderella. Okay. Oh, the, the uh, Cinder. I see what you're talking about. That yeah. 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 Impossible. That, impossible. Okay, so I loved it. Um, I actually wanted to make it like a little animation tribute to it, but it's taking <laughs> me forever to do it. 
so I mean, I, I, it's basically, are you trying to do the whole movie no too? <laughs> no okay i mean i tried it, it, i mean that makes sense if it takes it's like if you're trying to make the whole movie from the start to the finish it's like yeah that's gonna take you a while no i only wanted <laughs> to do a couple songs because i really liked yeah. it i knew like for me it's more of just like that was an inspiration but that also set me up as a person right and it was really diverse too when it you was. look at it like you yeah you know? it was like so it's like you know it goes out to the god of whitney houston you yeah. know she, they, man they they threw it down this was it's like half my mind i remember watching it and it's like man they did not have to go this they hard, didn't have to go this, that hard but they can't even they, make a remake they of made it happen right Right, and that, and that's like one of those things. It's like in discussion now. It's like you know what when they like I say like certain times. It's like they kind of actually knew what they were doing yeah. right here for this remake. They knew they knew what was going on. Not even because of like popularity or stuff. It's like no, they actually studied these people. Like it's like we're gonna put you here because you're famous. No, 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 no. They studied these people. They studied the people. They uh, studied the environment. I like the backgrounds. I love the colors. Like, oh my gosh, everything about the movie I loved, and I added it to like. There's like little hints that the movie is still right. there, relevant to the channel. Nobody's gonna figure it out, yeah. but like I'm gonna say it now. There is like a lot of um similarities to the movie um yeah but that's overall just like that what inspires me to do and keep like we'll basically keep going you know yeah yeah so now i feel like we're gonna go into music and um there it is because i think we're gonna lean into this uh because it's like we already went to this it's uh the j-pop so I think we're gonna like go from this angle of like if you can remember like the first J pop artist you listened to and what was a J pop artist that inspired you to keep listening. Oh man. Man. Cause, <laughs> oh. Oh, cause there's a lot. Especially We can do hip hop because it's the fifty years of hip if it's easier. We can do Hip Hop is easy, but like if you're gonna ask for J pop, I'm just like, man, you're gonna it's like I don't I know their names. I only know the songs because I, I really like right. uh I might help I might it's like if, if the song I might actually like help you out if like if you say the songs and it's like I might point out the art not even just like with this, but like in my brain I'm like I might point out the artist. So, if, you know. I know, and I, I know they're still around, but, like, if you know the opening for Code Geass. Code Geass, okay. So, I think it's, uh... Wow, I don't, I don't know. I don't know their name. It, it's okay. Was, it's oh, a band. do you remember which opening, huh? Oh, I sorry. Know, I know the opening. So, they did multiple openings, so... Um, Code Geass is the very first one. Um, Naruto's okay. opening five is okay notorious for it for yeah. their band. So Naruto opening, I'm def- yeah, I'm- Naruto opening yeah. five. Yeah, I definitely, I know, I was like, I probably can't like speak it out here. I know, like, I but thankfully, as I'm editing it, it will show. Yeah. So we're uh, okay now. We're gonna be down to like the two last things before like. The final conclusion, which is, um, what is your favorite animal? Just something I, I just like thought, like, you liked animals. It's like, what is your favorite animal? You don't have to go into the first animal that you saw if you don't want to. Oh, no. I like giraffes. I always say this a lot. Giraffes. I, I like them. I like I like it because I was a Toys R Us kid. Um, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I like Toys R Us. And it's back. It's back. <laughs> it is back. I liked it because, like, I am a Toys R Us kid, but also, um, when Patrick said, "Like, ha, it's the giraffe," I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, "That's my favorite animal, no matter what." Um, it's so funny because everybody's just like, "If you got reincarnated as an animal, what would you be? A giraffe? Have you seen yeah. them fight? They fight with their necks." Mm-hmm. That is so cool. 
They, and it's like they're literally to it's like they're I think they, if they can reach they can touch the sun or the moon if they wanted to I like your ass so much they're cool um I would say for me it's not I, I know you would think it's because of the shirt it's like no like I you know I have respect for all animals my favorite though would be like dogs and uh bears those are like my favorite animals what kind of bears but i do respect all the other animals too even you know these cats mm -hmm. oh so, now our last part before we get into the final final last part is what is your favorite food um uh, so i don't have a favorite food i have a favorite candy now um i okay. really like uh sour candies so anything sour, I really sour like. Hmm? Sour Patch? Oh, I was just saying like, like Sour Patch Kids? Yeah. Like, that. like stuff like that, I really like. So. Mm -hmm. All right. So one of the conclusion part, because I think you've kind of already said like what you would be working on in the near future. I would say for like the final thing to ask is like for anybody that you know would like to collaborate with you or even try to find you like where do we go um the best place right now to find me it would be twitter um instagram it's more of like it's gotten a lot bigger so i can't reach out to a lot of people anymore like i wanted to but if you can yeah. reach out like you can always email me i'm always good to respond to emails um and twitter okay. Just be very careful, be mindful, um, like, be upfront of what you want, so I know that yeah. it's just like, okay, it's not like, oh yeah, you're, you're a simple fan, but like- I just want to chat with you. Yeah. It's like, you up? 5 a.m., you up? 5 a.m., you're up, like, no, like, I, like, I'm at a point where it's just like, I have to set boundaries, um, some people yeah. have yeah, gotten a little too close, um, yeah. and I'm at a point where it's just like, I- I literally have to say no to a lot of people at this point. Yeah. But if yeah, you do I say know. what you want out at, at the beginning, um, if it's yeah. for collaborations or if you need lines yeah. or whatever you need, please let me know um, mm -hmm. exactly what you need and then I can get back to yeah. you. Right. So it's, it's never well, just like, oh, hey, Zip, you want to hang out? Just more of us like, give me technical difficulties or if you need fixing, mm -hmm. I can help. Other than right. that, I, I mean, I mean, can't. especially because it's like we're from like two different states. It's, it's like we're not even close. Yeah, even, even if that was. I love you two guys. Different states. <laughs> I love you guys. Uh, it's funny, like where, where I'm from. Like you got. Oh, sorry. I love you. Where you're from, you have family there too. I'm just like even Fusion High. I was just like no shot. <laughs> no shot. Yeah. No, it's okay. But like, like I said, always Instagram. Not Instagram. Not Instagram right now. Um, Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. Or X, basically. Twitter X. Yeah. X gonna give it to you. I, I'm, I'm still gonna call it the OG name. I, yeah. I don't care what you do. It's like, I remember my blue bird. It never died. <laughs> my bird never died. Right. <laughs> well, alright. Now, we have to say our goodbyes. Aww, See you later. Bye. See you later. I hope you guys enjoyed this interview. Uh, not so much shout outs this time around, but also mention within the words that was edited on the screen. But a thing I've had is a community page where I have asked about what do you guys like to do during the holidays and also for New Year's. And you can send your answers here. And also a video, if you would like to send that, would go to my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. As per usual, I hope you all enjoyed. And also, for the day of the post, it will be Domo's 25th anniversary. So, you know, as usual, see you all later. <laughs> Talking fun with Edo.